nationals that are kind of household name companies that have a presence there. It's a lot of SMEs. Um, there's a lot of uh, innovation hubs uh, in Cairo, for example. Um, you know, there's a, like a, an incubator that's focused on IT, and um, they're really focused on spinning up uh, new companies, jump-starting things, a lot of uh, really strong entrepreneurial spirit. And I think, you know, as was mentioned earlier, it's a very young, young population. Uh, so tech, anything that has an app, um, you know, those sorts of things are really going to be a strong opportunity going forward. And even in things, you know, there's other sectors too that I think are, are really building out, like, uh, like tourism, for example. Um, you may not see a lot of necessarily American tourists. Uh, I think there will be more American tourists going. But there's a lot of tourism within the region and a lot of Europeans. Uh, again, a kind of a hub uh, for tourism. I think that's going to only grow. And a lot of that's on the back of uh, IT and, and tech, you know, whether it's the, the airlines providing services there or uh, Travelocity and, you know, the, the web expanding the knowledge of, about the different uh, the tourism opportunities there, scuba diving in Oman. I mean, there's just a lot of really in, or going into the mountains. and There's just a lot of uh, very interesting things you can do as a tourist now um, across the Middle East. Again, finding out each locale, each country is different. Uh, but that's an industry I think that's only going to grow and grow quickly. That's uh, fascinating. I know we have folks here from various countries in the Middle East, so we sh probably shouldn't pick favorites. Uh, but I can't <laughs> resist asking the question anyway. So, uh, you know, a hundred and some years ago, Horace Greeley said, go west, young man. That was what he said to young American men and says the continent was being opened up here. You have to look at the whole scope of the Middle East right now. Where do you, and you don't necessarily have to pick just one country, I won't put you in that spot, but where do you think is the biggest opportunity right now that, 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 that every American business should be paying attention to? Any, any particular countries or opportunities leap to mind? I'll let all three of you. Boy, that's a really tough spot. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, of course, a favor to the, the countries that I kind of work in and cover, and that would be uh, it, it really any of the GCC countries, I think. Um, you have good governments there, you have uh, robust private sectors, and then I would also have to say um, Egypt. You know, it's, it's domestically, it's the largest country in the region, a population of over 90 million, so you have a large domestic market. And they're making a lot of investments into infrastructure with the Suez Canal and going to be doing a lot of different reasons with that. Um, and then I, I still believe, and I will always believe, I still am a strong believer in Iraq. And I think there's unique opportunities there, again, if you get beyond the headlines. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, to basically cover the entire region, I think, I think there's opportunities throughout. Interesting. Mike, anybody, any place to go I'd say first, in, in Saudi Arabia, they have, they have the, the lowest production costs I think in the world for oil, wow, uh, to get it out of the ground, uh, not offshore but onshore, and so I think they're going to they're strong. They um, they're spending money on their infrastructure, and I think they're going to be that way into the foreseeable future. And I like uh, Iraq and, and Iran. Hmm. Um, wow, that would surprise so many Americans because the headlines we, are so hard. So we we have a, a very strong installed base in Iran, and. Uh, but once, once things open up there, I think there's going to be tremendous opportunities for American companies to do business there. Yeah, I, I think you have to look at uh, the demographics and, um, you know, the, the GCC um, and, and particularly the countries in the, in the east side of the GCC, from Kuwait down to the UAE and Oman, uh, they're all very exciting places to do business. But when you really look at the demographics, the three largest populations in the region are Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt. And um, Saudi Arabia is a place that, uh, you know, I think all of us are engaged in doing business and they will continue to have a very robust uh, industrial market. Egypt's very interesting for us uh, because, uh, you know, we're in the water business. We specialize in uh, recycling industrial wastewater and uh, we've seen a tremendous amount of interest in cleaning up and preventing the Nile from pollution. And that's uh, driving a lot of interesting projects for us. Uh, uh, Iran, we don't know too much about yet, but uh, there's a lot of excitement of the need for our type of equipment and technology in Iran when it does open up. Fascinating, interesting. We're just about out of time, but I, I promised our panelists that we would wrap this up by giving them an opportunity for a final thought, a final question we've forgotten, something we've missed, or just something else they think every business considering investing or doing business in the Middle East should be thinking about. So, Steve, we'll start with you. 
Well, I, I would just say get excited about the Middle East because I think the opportunities there are incredible. They're vast. It's across every sector. And uh, because I think we're all competitive people, know that your foreign competition is there. Uh, the foreign competition is there in droves. Um, but the American businesses will remain, I think, the gold standard. So you're pushing on an open door. You got to go there, but do go there, and I think you'll uh, you'll you'll do well. You'll succeed. Uh, just embrace uh, the opportunities and the people. I agree totally. I, I would say be bold. Look at your markets. Find find where the best opportunity is and go there. Don't sit back and and get your information from the internet or from the paper. Go there, see the people, and I think you'll come away mesmerized by the opportunity. Yeah, yeah ditto. I mean, put down the newspaper, get on a plane. Put down the newspaper and get on the plane. <laughs> Don't wait because you might just miss the opportunity. Is that the deal? Yeah, absolutely. Very good. Well, thank you all so much. How about a round of applause for our panel? Appreciate it.